Right, so I'm going to talk to you about pronouncing vowel sounds in Welsh. We won't cover diphthongs today, that's a whole other lesson, but we'll look at short and long vowels in Welsh, okay? So we have, well, seven vowels in Welsh. I was always told a, e, i, o, i, u, a. The first one, a, is like the a in apple. And this is the short version. So, for example, the word for apple in Welsh, aval, aval. Another example is car, which is cock. <laughs> okay, so aval, car, a. Then we have e, so it's like the e in egg. Yeah. So, for example, pen, pen, or merch, merch. Okay, then we have uh, the I sound, which is E, kind of like um, sound in me or keen, but a bit shorter. So, for example, you say uh, ink, which is ink. <laughs> so, not a massive difference there. Um, then the O is the O, like in uh, lot, lot. And we also say lot in Welsh for the same thing. Or um, clock, clock, simple one. Okay, then we have the U. Now, the short U is quite easy to pronounce. It's like the I in shrimp or something like that. And we say, you know, pimp. That's our number five, pimp. And also you can say sit, sit. We don't always pronounce the T as much, but sit is in how. And W is an U, like in put, put, a little bit more of a round mouth though, so for example, toop, it's a good word, it means a bit stupid, but dumb, toop, or urth, urth, and then we have y, which is a sound, it's kind of the, the schwa, so the lazy sort of sound you have at the beginning of alive, or about a. Uh. So for example, un, un. And it can also be more of a sound that's like the I in the word in. So this depends on where in the word it is usually. So an example is unis, unis. So two Y's, but different places in the word, you end up with the sound unis. So sometimes the vowels are elongated, which means the same sound, but it's dragged out. Sometimes you'll know this is the case because we'll have the torbach on the top, that's the little roof. Other times you won't know. Um, some sources I've seen say it depends on the letters in the word, but I find that's probably a bit more confusing. I think you'll just learn as you learn new words whether that vowel is elongated or not. So for example, okay, a becomes a, ah, like if you're saying car in British English, you know, car. So while we have car, we have the word for cat, which is cat. It's a longer cat. So car, car. So for e, e, we again drag it out so it becomes e. Kind of like you're saying e. So while we have pen, we then have hen, okay, so pen and hen, hen. So for the I, it becomes longer again, it becomes E, like, you know, in feel, for example. So let's have an example, uh, you could say bleen, bleen, which is like angry, or easier one, V, V. So ink, v, okay. o becomes or, as in this or that. So for example, dod, yeah, dod. So clock, dod. Now, 
you is the difficult one. So while it's quite easy to say in words like pimp, you then have the longer sound, which is e, e. There's no equivalent sound in English, so I think imagine it's like spelt with an i r maybe e like this. And for example, you could say uh, soon. So did soon. It's Monday. Soon. That'll come with time, and I think in South Wales it's maybe not as. Uh, as we say it in the north anyway, so you could probably say disin would be more of an e sound. Uh, the oo oo becomes oo as in oo. <laughs> so you have urf, but then you have dur. Okay, dur, dur. And um, finally, the y again. It's sometimes the same sound as the u. So, for example, the word. Hid. Again, it's that e sound, yeah. Hid. So the different sounds here. You've got un, unis, hid. Now I always got confused between y and u when I was a kid in which one goes where and certain words. So don't worry if you find that confusing at first. It'll just come with practice. So I'm gonna run through these sounds for you one more time. So try to repeat. Um, car, car. Pen, hen. Ink, v. Clock, dod. Pimp, sin. Urf, dur. Un, anis, hid. Okay, so I hope that helped. I'm going to give you a lesson as well on the diphthong, so when you get two vowels together and bring in some consonants as well. And hopefully we'll whack in some uh, people's names or place names there at the end, just to help you get to know how to pronounce things. Okay, great. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.